Hey guys, Nick here and in today's video I want to show you the power of Vienna Symphonic Library's Smart Spheres and Smart Hits. Now, for those of you who don't know, probably Vienna Symphonic Library has been the big daddy of orchestral sampling since the early days of Giga Studio samplers and they have been for quite some time the only ones who were doing it until the other developers jumped on this uh, orchestral uh, sampling train. Now, uh, nowadays, uh, Vienna guys, aside from uh, sampling orchestral instruments and creating uh, top-notch orchestral libraries for who's who in the Hollywood, they decided to jump into a more uh, cinematic and sound-designed uh, libraries. So they created uh, two of them called uh, VSL Smart Spheres and VSL Smart Hits. So Smart Spheres is uh, their uh, library of synthetic and organic sound designed uh, instruments that are based on their orchestral recordings and some synthesizers. So it features pads, drones, pulses, basses, leads, keys and mallets and stuff like that, whilst the uh, Smart Hits library is mostly into this trailer sound design uh, type of thing with the brams and big hits and impacts and swooshes and all of that shebang. So uh, what I have here is a piece of music that I composed for a video game that I'm working on right now. Uh, it's a dark atmospheric piece of music uh, which is kind of like on the edge of being su suspenseful but still has that background uh, music vibe to it. It's like an underscore uh, type of thing. So uh, let's go. Uh, I'm gonna play you the piece first and then I'm gonna tell you how I utilized the smart spheres and smart hits to get what I got here. So here we go. And then the piece itself loops because it's a, a game uh, music background piece. So I have this impact here at the start in order to kind of like, I don't have the dropouts in sound because these pads are swelling and, and uh, you know, getting a little bit slower. So I'll have, a, a, if when I render the sound, then I will have this impact here, you know, just uh, continuing uh, it, it itself. Uh, during the loop, uh, during the gameplay. So, uh, as you can see, all of this here is straight out of the box uh, from the uh, from the Synchron player 
uh, that Vienna Symphonic Library guys have developed and it looks like this. So you have a whole bunch of options here for this is just like one of the instruments. Uh, no external processing, not even on my mix bus here or on my uh, post, so nothing like that. And the main reason why I like this is that you get uh, options here regarding the, the Synchron player. There are uh, key switches. So the red uh, keys here are key switching between your various types of sounds. Now, these are like root key mapping uh, from uh, smart hits, which are like hits and organic hits, and brams and organic brams. So the ones that are named organic are created from the orchestral uh, samples. So risers, swells, sub booms and stuff like that. But in order to have greater control, I have loaded each one individually. So I just, uh, you know, uh, deleted or disabled the patches. So you also when you click on one of these, you can key switch the green keys uh, in order to play the tonality of each of the brands. So if we like, you know, enable these, they are being straight and look at the the file size. I mean, it it asks for like forty nine uh, megabytes of your RAM, which is ridiculously small for a high quality library like this. So, you know, so this is like one of the brands sounding in D or like one of the brands sounding in C. So on the green keys, you are uh, choosing your tonality, your root key, and then on the white keys, you're playing various uh, sounds on your menu. And then if you disable these, it just goes straight back to unload itself from the memory. So that's the way the, the Synchron uh, player works for every instrument in the uh, Vienna Symphonic Library. Now, these dark blue ones are my pads which I use like as drones and some of them are automated by CC1 so I have like a sort of a filter now this one here so as I'm driving my mod wheel I get a sort of like a grime to it some sort of a distortion but uh Currently, these are my favorite ones, the pulses, uh, which are, there's a whole bunch of, you have like 15 different pulses here that you can use. And then you're adding with the CC one, you're adding different effects. It just gives some sort of like continuation in the during this this piece. In other words, it just kind of like drives it, it this this middle section, and uh, I have layered it here with this heaven pulse, which adds a sort of a um, how to say it. It adds a, a little bit of a high uh, frequency, you know, pulses. So two of them together are sounding rather interesting. And the plucks are fairly fairly simple to use. It's pretty cool actually. Uh, everything is already processed inside the engine. Now if you go into your mix, into your mixer here, some of them already have like chorus and flangers and, and plate reverbs and uh, some of them are already you see EQ'd so nothing clashes with one another so when you're playing them together they're all complementary and they're playing as an orchestra you know even though they are sound designed so these plucks here are you know giving me this sort of like a light motif for like some sort of like mystery uh, while the player is exploring this dark area during the game so we have like, I have like two variations of these I mean the same uh, melody it's just two different instruments and it has a delay
delay on it. You know, so lead sounds, uh, what I have here is called the Orion. So combined with these pads, it kind of like goes in and out of them. So all of these, the blue ones and the, the green lead are the Vienna Symphonic Library Smart Spheres library. And these uh, gray ones here are the smart hits that I already showed you, like these swells and you see. So uh, my piece is in the key of D. So when I choose my swells, I want to choose them sounding in the key of D. And this is the, the yellow keys are the short, medium and long uh, length of the samples. And then it goes into this hit here, or the impact, sorry, so this one here. So it's pretty ambient, but you have a lot of other, you know, various hits, you know, like trailer stuff. Pretty cool stuff. So uh, this piece is going straight into the game just like this. I mean, without any external processing and anything, it sounds pretty cool straight out of the box. Uh, the only thing I'll probably do is add a tiny little bit of, of like a limiter, although nothing is clipping, so I don't need it, maybe. Uh, we'll see how, how it implements in the game itself. So yeah. Check out Vienna Symphonic Library's Smart Spheres and Smart Hits and have fun with it. They're fairly affordable. Uh, they're like this entry level type of library that, uh, you know, if you're a student, if you are interested in cinematic scoring and underscore stuff, uh, just check out these and they complement uh, pretty cool. They, they blend themselves pretty nicely with the orchestral. Uh, libraries from the VSL uh, range of products. So I highly recommend these two to anyone who's who wants to create this dark cinematic sound design type of uh, music, uh, dark ambient. So yeah, you know, check them out. I think at the moment of recording of this video, they are still at an introductory uh, discount. So the only thing you need is the e-licensor or the Vienna key and everything will work. The Synchron player itself is free. So, you know, just load these libraries into them and uh, everything will work. So you can create music like this. So until then, until the next video, uh, have fun and um, see you around, you know, bye.